Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how it cleaned my house on this Shark IQ self-emptying robot vacuum, model number RV101AE. This is Amazon's number one best-selling robo vacuum, and I absolutely love it. We've never had one of these before, and so I'm new to this, and I'm going to show you. Mine's a, a house with carpet and dogs, and we do have a little bit of linoleum, but it's mainly for the carpet. So the reason it's got this big charging base, it self empties. It sucks out what this thing collects. Here's the robo vacuum and it'll suck out whatever is inside of here. And on the back here, there's this open port. That's where it sucks it out. But you can also open, it has a container that holds this stuff while it's, while it's roaming around. Now this one's gotten pretty dirty, but it did empty that. And I really like the interface. So the user interface with this, it talks to you, which I actually like. It's not a bunch of talking. It's got a few beeps and, and tones it does, but I do like how it talks to you. It's not very much, but it kind of gives you just the basic things of what's going on. So again, I've got two dogs. They're inside a lot. We've got a lot of uh, dog hair on the ground. It's, I've got this dining room table with these. It did really well in here. I'm going to show you that. We've got a long hallway. Again, more carpet and more things it could go under, a couch it could go under. So the first thing it does come, this is called the barrier strip. It's like a piece of magnetic and it won't go past it. You got to put it wherever you want to stop it. You can put a physical barrier up, like it'll, it'll hit it and stop it, but you can also put these barrier strips up. So it doesn't come with very much. The first thing I did was order another roll of this barrier strip. And it comes with uh, two-sided tape, which you might actually need. I have found it moves a little bit. Okay, so there's two things I love about this. I love that it self empties itself into that canister, but I also like that it does lines. It goes back and forth. It doesn't do a random order. So when your room is clean, it looks clean. And you know, I don't mind the lines and you're, it, it just looks like the room is clean. Now, since we had never had a vacuum before, this thing was picking up a bunch of stuff. We've always vacuumed with a hand vacuum, you know, once a week. But so what you're going to realize is when you first get one of these, you're basically deep cleaning your carpet. You don't realize it, but this thing's actually doing a really good job of cleaning and it's going to pick up a lot of stuff. It's going to clog. It's going to make you think it's not working and it's not worth it, but give it some time, baby it for a little bit, unclog it. You know, I had to down here, this thing, I would open this up and there, there would be, um, there'd be dog hair in here and I'd have to clean it out. You can see there's even some fine dust on here, even down in there. So just keep with it for a while. Once it gets the area clean, it's easier for it to keep it clean. So again, we didn't realize how much actual dog hair we had on our carpet. You know, we had been vacuuming, but when we, when we installed this and let it clean for two or three days, I mean, this thing picked up a lot of stuff. So it's got very simple controls. I like that too. So you've got clean, dock, and you can press those buttons yourself. This is like a window, so keep that nice and clean. That's part of the navigation. It's got a battery indicator to show you how charged your battery is and if your Wi-Fi is working. It also has an, a caution light when it's not working. So it has a, it has a bumper on it too to signal when it, it hits something. It's also got these sensors on the side. It's got fall off sensors on the sides so that if it approaches some steps, it, it won't go over the step and fall down the steps. That's what those are. Now I love these. At first I thought, well, what kind of brushes are these? These don't seem very, very good. They work. I've had another one, an anchor one that uh, they kept falling off. These have not fallen off yet. Here's the, the wheels. This has got like a, it's called like a self-cleaning brush head. We've been using this and that's all the more it's got on it. It's like some long hair. These are the charging contacts. Make sure those are clean. There's the battery and there's the wheel. So this thing will map out your house. Now I haven't found that to be that to work the best yet. I think it needs a lot more time, but in the app, the shark app, it will create a map of your house. Again, I've been using mine for about a week. It's not the most accurate yet, but we've been kind of messing around with it. 
And what I didn't realize at first is if you ever pick up the, the shark, like we, it, like a couple times it got stuck, it got stuck back in a back bedroom and I just picked it up and brought it out of here. You're not supposed to do that. Wherever it gets stuck, so if it just shuts down like right here, you're supposed to put it, get it unstuck and put it back where it was within a few um, inches or so, so that it can keep up with the map of the house. And then it will find its way back. The base has a green light when it's out working and then it, it turns blue when it's charging it. And so this is the best part. The, you just push this button. This whole thing comes and it's got all your dirt from the machine in here. Again, once in a while, you do have to, I have had to clean this. This gets pretty dirty. And it's a really, really fine dust. So you have to clean that. They give you special instructions on how to do that. But what's really nice is you just lift this thing up and take it to your trash can. So when you're carrying this, don't tilt it, don't tip it over. Stuff will come out of these other holes. And you just press, when you get to the trash can, it has to be facing down. You just press this button and this bottom latch, just gravity comes open. Be ready, because that's all your stuff. But what we find is the, the hair, it all pretty much sticks to this thing up here. So you gotta reach in there and get it. But man, does it clean a lot. I mean, we were, we were emptying this after every time just because we were so curious of how well it was cleaning. So there's all the hair. It does pick up fine particles too, but it mainly gets a lot of dog hair off of carpet. So this is the bagless type. I know some other manufacturers have a bag that they put in there, but this one does not require a bag and it just snaps on very easy. You just snap it on. And there it is. When it docks, that's the vacuum sucking out what's inside the the RoboVac. It's all automatic. Okay, so I can I can tell this thing to clean now with my app. And there's this, I love that tone. It tells me when it's done. Now, I can just, what we do is we just come up here and press the clean button. I just press it. It makes a sound when it leaves the dock and then it starts cleaning. And again, it does this, it's methodical when it goes back and forth. That's what we really, really like. And it kind of goes, it, it goes over where it was just, a, it overlaps just a little bit. So the only bad thing with these, you know, these barriers don't look the best but they're definitely necessary with this. I mean, we could have it do the whole house and not use the barriers at all, but I've just wanted to kind of keep, keep it in this room so that we can do some tests on it. And it does struggle. So if, if you put the barrier on the linoleum, it, it does, I have found that it goes over the barrier. The barrier has to be on the carpet, kind of on the same level that the machine's on. And then it stops, then it stops it. And the machine, if you don't have this kind of like, uh, tape down or something, the machine does eventually move it a little bit every time it touches it. So you can see the lines are already starting. It doesn't contact the walls or the furniture very hard. So let's take a look at the Shark app. I'm using my tablet, but you can use it on your phone. So to me, the Shark app is a very basic app. It's, it's not a lot, it's not real fancy, but it, it does have some useful features. Here, I love that it tells me the battery life. It's 100%, and it says it's been cleaning for three minutes and 35 seconds. I can stop it, I can tell it to go to dock, I can pause it from here, and I can hit find my robot. If I lose it, it'll start making a sound, and that way you can go find it. I can also do the cleaning modes. It's got basically how much suction. Normal, eco, and max. Let's kick it up to max. So here it is doing that boundary. It's, it's, it's kind of aggressive with the boundaries, but you know, I was hoping that it would kind of sense it a little sooner, but it really goes right up to it. See how it really gets up close right on it.
So what surprised me one time is I had the chairs kind of scooted together and it found an opening inside one of the chairs where it could fit through and it did. And it just went all around and cleaned inside underneath the table, which I thought, wow, that was, it, it was methodical. It took a little while, but if you leave kind of an opening for it to get into, now right now I've got the, the chairs uh, placed so it won't go underneath there. But if you do leave an opening, it will get in there and it will eventually come out. Even if you left one opening, it will eventually come out the same opening that you put it in or that it went in in itself. Now here's those lines I was telling you about. See, it just feels like it's, it's been cleaned. So I increased it to max and you can tell it sounds a lot different. Now the battery's probably gonna run down sooner, but I can increase the suction power of it. And it definitely does get a lot noisier. And again, I can control that from the app. I can go back to normal power. So again, here's the map. There's a section that, that will show you the map of your house. Again, this is not accurate. I, I've deleted the map, so you can delete it, and then it'll try to make another map, or you can say yes and approve. So I'll probably approve this one because it says this is its first impression of your home, and the map will continue to improve as the robot cleans your home. So each time it cleans, it's going to supposedly improve this room. So let's hit yes, approve. Now what I like, now it doesn't show you where it is on the map, but I, I want this feature to really work because I can create a zone, I can edit the map, and I can, I can um, let's make a room. You gotta hit the add button, and then I come over here and I can say, okay, yeah, this, this is the dining room. So what I really wanna be able to do is, so once you say that's the dining room, add a label, room dining, click update. So there, it says that's the dining room. Eventually I'll be able to say, go clean the dining room on Sundays nights or clean this, say, clean this other room on certain nights. That's a really nice feature. I want that to work when I start to do my scheduling. So let's tell it to go dock. Let's hit the dock button. This thing does a really good job of finding the dock. Even when it's been back in one of those back bedrooms, it has found the dock. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but it does a really good job. So here's the docking procedure. It kind of drives up on it, then backs up, then it turns itself around. It's just so fun when you're sitting in the other room and then you, you don't really hear this part, but you hear the vacuum part kick on. So that light turned blue, it's charging, but now it's gonna automatically suck out what's inside there. I mean, that is kind of noisy, but it's kind of fun hearing that. And then it turns off automatically. And now it's sitting there. Now there are some features, it does beep at you. There's some features I want to tell you about. So if you long press this clean button, you're going to turn on dock and recharge. You got to press it for 15 seconds. It's a really long time, but it will talk to you. Recharge and resume is disabled now. Okay, so now I disabled it. Now I want to enable it. So press that clean button again. It's 15. It's a long time. I wish it wasn't that long but I like that it talks to you. Recharge and resume is enabled now. Okay, now there's this one over here, this dock. If I long press the dock button, evacuate and resume is on or off. So what that is, is if you've got pets and it's early, it's, say you've just started using this machine, it tells it to dock more often to clean out what's, to clean out the, the dust pan basically. So it says to turn on if you've got pets. So let's long press the dock button and it'll, I've got it turned on already. So it'll disable it here. But I think you should turn this one on and the other one on. Evacuation and resume is disabled now. Okay, I want to turn it back on.
Evacuation and resume is enabled now. Okay, so those are two things that I turn on. It empties itself more often and it docks and recharges. So what the dock and recharges is, if I told it to clean and it, the battery runs low, it's gonna come back here and if it didn't finish the room, it's gonna charge itself up and then it's automatically gonna go clean the rest of the room. But if the room is clean, then it will dock itself and stay docked. And so it's very simple to put back on. You just gotta kinda line it up and then I just kinda slide it. The, the light turns blue and I, I, I can dock it myself. The battery icon, again, if it's all the way, that means it's fully charged. If it's halfway, it's half charged. Every time you dock it, it does empty it. So when I first had this, here's some things. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't always end, so it's emptying it now. When we first got this, there was so much dog hair that there would be, it would empty it, but then there would be like a big chunk of dog hair or hair on the side here, and I'd have to manually. Again, don't give up on it when you first get it. It is a good vacuum cleaner. It's just it's doing a very deep cleaning. There's that. So that's pretty good. This thing's had quite the workout over the last week. We have really, really used it. Like I said, it's been the funnest part's been every time you hear that go off, we go and we empty it because we want to see how much it's cleaned. You're just curious. How, how well is it doing? But it actually shocked us how how much it was cleaning when we thought our carpet was clean. And I think I'm going to get, they have one model that's, they have an upgrade model to the shark that has kind of like a, um, a radar on the top. I'm going to, I'm going to try to maybe get that one too and do a comparison. Um, this one's very nice. I, I, I don't like that. I've got to put it out in the middle of the room. I'm going to try if I can see if I can put it somewhere and it'll come out and do my, do the cleaning and then go back to that room. That, that would be ideal. If you could keep it in a laundry room and keep the door open, have it come out of the laundry room, do its cleaning, and then go back. But they do require kind of a big area to be open around it. But th I, this isn't quite three feet on either side, and it's, it's done a really good job. So I bought this one off of Amazon's open box. Um, it was under their like uh, open box used section. I saved quite a bit of money. Normally this thing is around $600. I think they've got it on sale for $318, but I was able to pick this up for $240. Now, it had looked like it had been used a little bit, but Amazon did a really good job of cleaning it up. And the, really the only way I could tell it had been used was the bumper. So the bumper, I could tell it had some mild, you know, the bumper is gonna get kind of scratched up a little bit just from what it does. And that's how I could tell it was used, but it wasn't used very much. They did a very thorough job. Everything else, like all the filters, looked like they'd been replaced. I mean, it was perfectly clean other than I just see that somebody had used it for a little bit. Now, you don't need this mat. If you put this on hardwood floors, you don't need this. But this is really nice if you have hardwood floors. It comes with it. Okay, so let's see what's in there just from that little bit of cleaning. Yeah, again, it's even. Yeah, it got, it got a little bit of hair up there. Not bad. Um, we're just finding that it every time it does it, it just it, we get less and less off of the floor. And I like that this is like a reusable. It's not a bag that I have to change the bag every time. It's a nice opening it up and seeing, and just seeing how it's doing. I shouldn't have to open this up in like, I guess every 30 days or so, but it's just, we've just been too curious to open it up. So the boundary strips are a must. And having that self clean feature, I mean, we just absolutely love this vacuum cleaner. I don't know why we didn't have one sooner, but I love that it, it empties itself. And I've, I've found the app. I do, like the, I do like the tones. Maybe there's a way to turn those. I don't know if there's a way to turn those tones off yet, but I, I kind of like it. It kind of gives you a status of what it's doing. To me, the shark is simple. The app is simple. The, the user interface is simple. Um, the anchor one, I think it, it was, had a little bit more bells and whistles, but I don't think it did it. It didn't have the self-cleaning where it emptied itself. And coming home and seeing the, you know, if you don't like the lines in your carpet, then this may not be for you. But coming home and seeing that that, it just looks clean. And the, the best part was it went underneath the couch. So this um, is not very tall, but we've never cleaned underneath our couch hardly at all. And this was, it was a very surprising how much it did clean. So thanks everybody for watching. I'm going to do videos on how to clean these now. So that... These things, these machines need to have attention. I can tell that right away. We've only been using this for a week. 
but you're going to have to keep up on the maintenance. There's filters to change. There's sensors to clean. So I'm going to do some videos. I'm going to call them like a monthly, like a three month check. Things you're just going to have to sit down and take care of. I mean, doing that little bit of work is going to pay dividends because this thing just vacuums your house and you're not having to vacuum it. So a little bit of prep work, keeping it up and running. And I think this thing will last for a while. Thanks everybody for watching.